Hi everyone, welcome to the Combine Naval event in Farnborough, UK. I am now with uh, Stellar System, which unveiled this morning the new Fearless uh, vessel. Uh, I am with the managing director, Rob Scarda. Rob, good morning. Good morning. How are you, Xavier? I'm uh, great, thank you. It's been a, a really good show uh, so far, and uh, wow, I'm really impressed by uh, your new design here. Uh, my first question, I guess, uh, so you told me it can fulfill many missions. Is it a surface combatant? Is it a UAV, USV, and UUV mothership? Or is it an amphibious vessel? All of those, yes. So it's the surface combatant really designed for commando type, called commando force operations. So 800 lane meters of deck space, so robo space leading to a stern ramp. Uh, so the aim of which is to enable them to operate up threat. Um, starting off by raiding forces um, from kind of 100 nautical miles out while they push back the kind of air denied area um, using a range of vessels. So we've got a, a Wraith USSV, uh, Havoc USVs as well. So these are one way attack USVs. And then alongside, as you say, a, a decent uh, aviation capability. So one of the reasons why we've designed it this way is actually it's, it's smaller than a typical landing ship in order to enable disaggregated uh, operations. So more vessels in more different places in order to enable the, the raiding. Um, so whilst it's a, it's a smaller ship with a smaller aviation capability than they may want for MRSS because you've got two platforms, you still have the same capability, uh, but you've got it in different places. So we've designed it to be uh, incredibly efficient as well. So using our whole tune uh, machine learning suite, uh, we're operating the ship at up to 30 knots using 32 megawatts of power. So it's more like a frigate in terms of it, its power, but at 15 and a half thousand tons doing 30 knots is impressive. We've done a little bit of work with ABB on the interesting and novel propulsion system. Uh, so we've got contra-rotating propellers uh, with pods. So again, that gives us a, a propulsive coefficient of about 70%. So Whereas you might normally only get 60. Has this been tested or proven anywhere? Like, is there a ship out there with this configuration? I have never seen this before. So yes, this configuration is used on some ferries. Uh, so ABB have done that. Uh, when I was also in the MOD quite a long time ago, we did test contra-rotating pods uh, down at Haslow with Kinetic. So uh, yes, it's, it's certainly been looked at uh, and has proven to be very efficient. And uh, so two guns, a main gun, uh 5 inch or 127, 76 uh, millimeter secondary gun. Uh, how many VLSs? Uh, so there's uh, eight, eight VLS back aft. So we've separated the um, Mark 41s in order to give us better survivability. And then I think it's 32 up front. So some of them are strike length to enable land attack missiles. Some of them are only uh, tactical to obviously it's kind of safe cost, uh, but provide plenty of air defense capability. So the reason for quite so many guns is because we're you know, expecting operations in the future uh, in the littoral to be highly contested with a lot of drones, long weight, long range drones, short range drones. So that air defense capability gives the, the bubble to operate the, the amphibious forces. As usual with these things, you can fit them or not. Uh, and there's different things that you can look at depending on which customer. Large area for mission modules as well, because nowadays modularity is key. Yes, and indeed, there's been a few you know, concepts shown around the show today as for different type of pods, so carrying drones, yeah, anti anti land missiles, and other things. So yeah, lots of options again, and then also for the, the space inside for the garage with the 800 lane meters, that could be a, a roll three medical facility uh, carrying future all-terrain vehicles for the Royal Marines, additional um, commando insertion craft. So around here at the back. Uh, we've got a, a commando insertion craft uh, on the stern ramp. So the stern ramp for this can take vehicles up to 20 meters in length and up to 60 tons. So that can be for a CIC, USVs, USSVs, XLAUVs, all sorts of things. And then we have a vehicle ramp as well that can come down on top of that to enable the launch of actual yeah, wheeled and tracked vehicles from the, from the stern ramp. So yeah, so when you talk about the combatant or mothership, yes, it's all of those, but I think that's really what navies need in the future. And the CIC, that's a different program on which you're working uh, on as well, uh, yep. as a proposal. And uh, you're doing, we've been doing some uh, actual demonstration of a design concept on a, on a lake or on a river. Yeah, so in Pool, around Pool Harbor, uh, we've launched a six meter um, demonstrator craft for that. So it was to demonstrate uh, the potential conops or concept of operations of operating a, a vehicle with stern two. So a stern to landing. So the aim of that is to obviously be able to go very fast, which a conventional landing craft configuration can't do. So go very fast, come in towards the beach, turn around, drop an anchor and reverse onto the beach. Stern ramp goes down. We actually have wheels to pull the, to the vessel up and stabilize it. 
So ramp goes down, the commandos go and undertake their operation and then reverse to get out. So out comes the ramp, the wheels push the vessel off and the, the anchor can pull it and then off you go with the jet straight into the, into the waves and off you go. And, and again, that vessel uh, at the full scale is capable of 40 knots uh, and a really good ride for the commando. So we've optimized the whole form again, looking at making sure we get them there fit to fight. And uh, do you mention those uh, UAVs? Are those uh, for which uh, mission sets? Are those like one-way attack UAVs, like Kamikaze UAVs? Yes, it can be. Uh, so we've designed that using the same hull form as the demonstrator. So it's a six-meter hull form. Uh, it can be a one-way attack or an I-star. So undertaking reconnaissance. Uh, so again, they're capable of running 500 nautical miles and up to 50 knots at a terminal velocity. So, and, uh, so last but not least, so the Fearless is uh, what Star Systems is uh, proposing for MRSS? Certainly, yes. And it's, uh, some, we've had some good conversations already today about having uh, with a requirements team uh, and the team looking at that. Uh, and we've had some good discussions as to how that might balance out with their requirements. Uh, and it's all been very positive, so certainly. I mean, it certainly looks uh, avant-garde and uh, very innovative, so uh, let's uh, wait and see what, uh, what uh, the Royal Navy decides for MRSS. Rob, thank you very much. Thank you, Xavier. Really good to see you. Thank you. Bye.